Hi guys, this is Harsh and today I'll be talking about cloud computing services. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. We all know that cloud technology is growing at a rapid pace and nowadays small organizations don't want to buy and manage their own servers. So they are switching to clouds where the cloud owner will provide the user or organization with certain services. They can be security as a service, database as a service, identity management as a service. But in this video, we will be discussing about the basic and most important ones, which are software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. Let us take a simple example to understand cloud computing services better. Suppose if we want to plan a wedding, we will require a wedding hall or wedding ground. We will need to decorate it and plus we will need good food. Suppose we are provided with three packages. In first package, we are just provided the wedding hall. Then we will have to do the decoration and catering ourselves or we can hire someone to do it for us. This is a bit tedious. So we can choose the second package where we get wedding hall along with decoration. So we just need to take care of the catering. If we still find it tedious, we can go for the third package where we are provided with a wedding hall, decoration and plus caterers. So all we need to do is just sign a big fat check. Now when we relate this example. With cloud computing services, we see that when we choose infrastructure as a service, only hardware is provided. When we choose platform as a service, hardware and the operating systems are provided. And when we choose software as a service, we are provided with hardware, operating systems and plus the application. This is a hierarchy of cloud services. If you choose infrastructure as a service you will need system administrators to guide you which operating system to use on that infrastructure based on your company's need and you will also require developers to write applications to run on those operating systems if you choose platform as a service you will be provided with infrastructure and operating system so here you can't install your own operating system. So you will need only developers to develop applications that can be deployed on that OS. If you choose software as a service, you get infrastructure along with operating systems and applications installed on those operating systems. So you don't need anyone to build anything. You just need to customize the application in the starting phase and then you are good to go. So infrastructure as a service is chosen by big organizations which can afford system administrators and developers while platform as a service is chosen by developers who can code and make applications which can be deployed on the OS provided by the vendor. and Software as a service is chosen by end users who don't want to get into the trouble of selecting an operating system or writing applications to run on it. If you enjoyed watching my video, please like it, share it and if you feel that I need to make some improvement, then please leave some comments down below. Thank you.